three, two, one. Oh my God, that's cold. Woo! Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Miles, You Betcha Guy, here with Ryan, the t shirt guy. We are presented by Ice Mountain, and we are live here in the studio. How you guys feeling? Feeling great. Good, good. Feeling great. I, well, I was I was waiting for the you, know, you actually never did that your thing, Tyler. The oof does. So, guys, before uh, we no, get into alive. this too far here, I do have something I'd like to bring up, and I would like a rec- I would like to request to get to not have my man card revoked. Uh-oh. So you look at you're looking for advice, or you're just looking for us to kind of listen. He's about to admit something. I just want to get okay. this off my chest. Okay. All mm. right. And I would like this to be a man card safe zone. Okay. If that's okay with you guys. Everyone knows well, that yeah, this as long as podcast you, studio is a safe space. Yeah. As long as you preface it with that too. It could have went either way, you know. <laughs> so uh, I was on a road trip this last weekend and my wonderful wife, Anne, she decided to get on the ox court for a little bit. Mm. And she played the new Beyonce country song mm-hmm. on the car, and I I love it. Oh, that's not man card revoke. Yeah, I like it too. I like like I like it a lot though. Yeah, like it's been in my head the whole day. That's good. And I watch every single clip online that comes across my feed with that song on there. Doesn't matter what they're doing. Yeah, I, I think, mean, I think you're uh, without us even saying anything. I think you're in the clear. Oh, for yeah. sure. The amount of times that Justin Bieber has been stuck in my head throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. I think that's more of a man card <laughs> revoker than Beyonce. <laughs> I mean, you know, I have music tastes. I think everyone gets a pass. Music, music is for everyone to enjoy. I don't like music hard. I was like, oh, you like that stuff. Well, like, I'm not going to sit down and listen to a, a, be a regular Beyonce song. And this is exactly what she wanted to do is she wanted to capture this audience. She got, and yeah. she got is, me. Is there some twang to it? No, okay. it's just it's just Beyonce. OK, you know? it's I, good. I didn't I've really get the it. Beyonce yeah. hype, but now I'm starting to come around a little bit. So now so you're in the beehive. The only- I might be in the beehive <laughs> a little bit. And yeah. I know that this is strange. I wouldn't have said this, but now- I don't know. All it takes is one song mm-hmm. to change the way I feel about her. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been a Queen Bee fan for a long time. So oh, how many God. names we got for Beyonce fans? Just three. I, yeah, I, okay. like, <laughs> I like to call her Bay once. Bay That's once. how her name is actually spelled. Bay I mean, I was on Bay Watch waiting for this uh, song to drop. I will listen to this song Bay once and then again and again and again. It's uh, it's just I think that the kids call it uh, I think they call it a bop. <laughs> <laughs> Does the song I like, slap? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's I, what I was going with. I like to bebop around to it. Mm, is sure. it a certified banger. It's like <laughs> I imagine the song is great for if you are going to clean your house, you throw that on at the beginning. <laughs> You're gonna get in the mode to clean. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's kind of a good cleaning song. Yeah, it's like montage sure. music, kind of. A little yeah. bit, you yeah. know. You got a broom in your hand, and that comes on. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna start fucking jiving yeah. with it. It's yeah. a little bit nine to five Dolly Parton. A little bit, yeah. Kinda, new age, kind of like an Adderall for the years. I also tried to listen to the <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It's I mean, like yeah. a musical Adderall, is what that sure. song is. Yeah, you you got to cut down all the trees in your yard. Just throw Beyonce on. <laughs> You got clean. I mean, you have to <laughs> deep clean the house. Throw Beyonce on. Yeah. <laughs> or is he like a music critic? Like have a quote underneath that says Adderall, the Adderall for the years. For the years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna put this Adderall straight to the straight to the <laughs> eardrum. It transcended platinum. It went Adderall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a huge award. Yeah. The Adderall award. <laughs> It's like, like how many hours did people spend cleaning their houses listening to this song? Hey, Alexa, I'm cleaning the house. Throw on Beyonce. Country. What's it? What's it? What's the song called? Texas, Texas Hold'em. Hold'em. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Also, I listen to lyrics. The the chorus makes sense, but the verses are very confusing. It's it's a song you don't need to think about. I know. I was like, the second verse is something about a tornado happening and yeah. you're in the basement. And I'm like, what? Well, <laughs> how did this go from a bop to now a horror Midwest horror film? Yeah. So Those my theory, Tornado is, Alley, though, Oklahoma, Texas, kind of oh, it's country. Yeah. You know, it's you my are. theory is that Beyonce just did what all the people that make fun of country music 
say you need to do. She just picked some country western things and then yeah they got tornadoes in the yeah in the country yeah, she yeah. did that and it turned out a pretty good song so huh. yeah it's so you, did, did you give your did you give your fi- your reaction of you know you liking the song during or after it played i let it play i played it cool okay good, good, good. yeah and i think that cool yeah you can't especially because you know you got your wife sitting in the passenger seat you aren't like you, you don't want to throw up too many red flags. You want to make it look like it's growing on you, mm-hmm. right? You got to act so shitty about you it. You don't want to, yeah. yeah. Right when she plays it the first like, time. Oh my God. You can't do that. <laughs> no. It's got to be like, a, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. I think I actually said that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, weird. It's on again. It's, the playlist must have gone around. But I, let me give it another shot. <laughs> yeah. God, I meant to hit the maps, uh, maps on the front. And then on the way home, it was just. We were just sitting there and I just put it on myself and I'm now on it. Yeah. Foot tap in the gas pedal. Yeah. That sounds like an old Beyonce lyric. Foot tap in the gas pedal. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it could be a like a country mm-hmm. music. But I also yep. kind of don't want her to do another country song. Oh, she will. She, she has one already. Yeah. Really? I just, I, I don't want it to ruin the legacy that this one is building. Did you guys ever watch the, I think it was a Nickelodeon show, Franklin? The turtle. Yeah, I yeah. watched that TikTok. Trust me. Yep. It's just the tune to Franklin. Yep. They just took Franklin's song and then hey, she, it's Franklin. Yep. Coming over to play. I, I haven't heard the song, so I have no I have no back. You haven't heard the song? No. Let's play it. We can cut it out. And then we can get Ryan's first reaction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Play work. Also, before we do that, did I think we would be discussing this on this podcast? No, but here we are. And that's okay. I mean, because you still got the man card in the pocket. We are an exploration podcast, mm-hmm. and this is us trying out new stuff. I think Ryan will like it. Ryan, you like there such could be a wide range of, of music. You'll like it. I, I guarantee I yeah. will. I'll be a beekeeper by the I, end of this thing. I've been in the truck with you, and I've heard MGK, Zach Bryan, and Eminem. Nicki Minaj. Oh, I haven't yeah. even seen the music video. All right, here we go. We're going right. to watch it, and then it. Ryan's going to react. Ryan, your eyes did not leave the monitor. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys gotta go watch. The you gotta music go. Video. You gotta go watch the official visualizer. <laughs> yeah, it's just a loop. Let's it's just a, say it's like I a- officially visualized mm-hmm. that now. That's what it says. The official visualizer. I think it's made for Spotify. That whole thing. But yeah. Oh yeah, like the, yeah. That's like uh, the yep. thing that runs yeah. in the background, the ten second or whatever. Regardless, yeah. that's a <laughs> banger. It's a good song. Yeah, <laughs> great beat to it. And it doesn't it, the the fact that like you don't need the twang for it to sound country. Mm-mm. I think uh, now reading the lyrics, she really did just throw random all country the turners, all the country cliches, a dive one. bar, whis- you know rugged what? whiskey. Well, you know what? We don't care. We don't. We don't care. <laughs> well, that that was that was the plan too, was to distract you with uh-huh. the visualizer, uh-huh. and then you can throw whatever you want in there, and then yep. it just bops. And next thing you know, you're fucking sweeping the whole house. You're vacuuming. Yeah. Hardwood floors. Play the Franklin uh, yeah. intro now. So yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 way way too early to make this statement, but it feels a little bit. You know, obviously, I said there's man cards involved, mm-hmm. but I think if we all decide it's good, then everyone can get on board. Mm. Kind of like uh, Shania Twain is one of those. Yeah. Right? For sure. Yep. For no, sure. it's not saying that that's the same vein mm-hmm. here, but you hear let's go girls. He gets the guys going every you time. Know what I mean, it's kind of <laughs> one of those things. I mean, I know all of Shania's part in party for two and not all of Billy's. Yep, exactly. So I just wanted to throw it. I want to get ahead of it. I wanted to say day one fan. Oh, that mm-hmm. song. Oh, I said I'm Beyonce. Well, I've also been <laughs> down. Yeah. I've also been down with Beyonce since day one. So. Destiny's Child. Yep. I forgot about Destiny's Child. Most so, people do. Gold member. Yeah, yeah. Austin <laughs> Bauer is a gold member. <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> They should uh, they should put that song overlapped when the him, when Beyonce is like getting flirty with Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can cut that up. Ryan, what you know what I'd like an award for? Being the most hydrated in the office. Yeah, hydrated in the office. Maybe most uh, most 
H2O consumed in the world. Body percentage most con- uh, compiled of water. Yeah, and mm-hmm. not just any water. I'd like this to be from Ice Mountain. Straight from the mountaintop. So I would like an award for most hydrated from Ice Mountain. Not necessarily from like Ice Mountain. There needs to be an independent like academy that gives out these awards yeah be like a rotten tomatoes for and i'd like to win the ice mountain category like a noble prize (laughs) yeah but more not like that at all more (laughs) more more it's not a prize it's an award gotcha so (laughs) like yeah it would be adjacent to the mountain climbing academy that gives out awards for mountain climbing. Gotcha. Because it's the Ice Mountain <laughs> Awards. And uh, I'd like to win it. I'd like Ryan to be runner up, as always. And uh, Mr. Silver. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'd like the award to be a golden Ice Mountain bottle. That'd be sick. Mm-hmm. That would be sick. Fully recycled gold. Yeah, from, yeah. <laughs> from previous Olympic winners. Yeah, more than five cents in Michigan if you recycle it. Mm-hmm. Probably like, you know, a couple thousand bucks. So I'd like to see someone give me a run for my money, though. I'm you, kind of been just cleaning up the last few years, and I'd like someone to at least attempt. So, guys, you should go out and buy as much ice mountain as you can and drink all of it and try and beat me. Do you think you could drink a, a squirt bottle faster than Joey Chestnut? No, <laughs> but it's not about speed. It's about longevity. Okay. okay. A man who enjoys water will drink more than the man who enjoys drinking it fast. There we go. Yeah. Well said. Thanks, Tyler. That's the motto of Ice Mountain right there. Put that on a bottle. Mm-hmm. Slow head top of their website. <laughs> the man or woman that loves to drink water will drink more ice mountain than the man or woman who <laughs> just wants the benefits of drinking ice mountain. Yeah. Brings a tear to my eye. And that would just be easily on the label of the bottle. <laughs> and that would be my speech actually at the award ceremony. Yeah, just a couple sentences. Yeah, the award ceremony would have to be on top of the ice mountain. You could just like plant a flag that says that too. Yeah, and then I'd be like, uh, you drink a squirt bottle of ice mountain, a little eight ounce bottle of ice mountain, and a full <laughs> gallon of ice mountain every day. That's a full day. It's a full day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just thought of that right now. Could be a good speech. Mm-hmm. See, memorable maybe. Could be a good tear jerker. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So guys, give me a run for my money. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to throw it out there. I I hope other people are feeling the same way otherwise, but you clearly see why yeah, it's it, money. It's a it's a toe tapper, it's a head bopper. <laughs> it's uh it's a broom cleaner. Yeah, you got it. Oh, you gotta go watch the visualizer YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we just so you can see the lyrics yeah, so you yeah. can sing along we, more we, so. are, we officially visualized it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I was looking at the lyrics you guys were visualizing what was happening in the video <laughs> I mean if that yeah any gust of wind blows that coat back just a tear just a tad <laughs> any so, tornado <laughs> any tornado in your city yeah <laughs> so what we should do is we should do a uh, Texas Hold'em update now weekly and See how many weeks it takes for us to get sick of the song. Yep. That's also ah, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We can each weigh in. All okay. right. Well, Jared, what are we talking about today? Uh, things we should get awards for. Things we should get awards for. Okay. I think I I think I should get an award for hanging up my towel after I shower every time. Because <laughs> <laughs> where does it where does it normally go? Just wherever the wind blows it yeah so like we, <laughs> it usually goes on the carpet <laughs> in the closet usually okay that's the worst spot um and part of the problem is if we have a messy closet floor it just blends in with the other mm. clothes so it doesn't really stand out and it gets a little musty yeah a little and then mildewy. mildewy and then yeah. we have white towels so we have a white tile floor in the bathroom blends in with that as well Mm. so if i get that sucker up on the hook i deserve an award for that because (laughs) 
Like I actually have a sense of accomplishment every time I hang <laughs> that sucker up. You know, it's like I'm doing my part. Does it? So it, it mainly ends up in the bedroom closet because do you, that's where you change. Yeah. So okay. I okay. hop out. I'll run you through my get ready with me here. Sure. You know, I usually get up, go to the bathroom, and then it's brush. I brush my teeth. I turn the shower on, warm it up, brush my teeth while it's warming up. Yep. Then I strip down. Mm -hmm. Then I shower. Then when I get out of the shower, I towel off. Then I go put some underwear on and I drop the towel in the closet. <laughs> yeah, you got it. And then off. it's like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, that's I, not the only place that I towel I off. Get right? out of the shower. I walk around the bathroom a little bit, drip in, and then I towel off. You, hey, yeah. I think that's what Ann does. Because every single time she gets out of the shower, there's puddles of water all over the floor. I'm like, what are you doing? Maybe it just gets a little bit too hot with like you guys. It's like she gets out of the shower and just doesn't even touch the towel and runs downstairs and grabs something to drink. I swear to God. It spills does, the glass. Does anyone else's wife do that? I feel like there's water everywhere always. And then I walk in and it's a minefield of slipperiness. I have to just, where did she step? Yeah. Crack her head open. Well, yeah. And I think one, I do think you should get an award for that. It's a big accomplishment. I mean, Number one, the clothes in your closet are not going to get, they're not going to get like damp and stinky. Um, towel stays in the bathroom or you could just air dry. You yeah, could just hop out of the shower and turn, just the, air, turn just, the shower off and just stand there. Till yeah. Dry. You could just air <laughs> so dry cold. right in the shower. You guys think I'm late now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait until I got to air dry. Well, and maybe that's You're what, right. Let's just eliminate the towels altogether. I mean, yeah, I'll, could, use, I'll use napkins instead. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, why haven't we switched to like a, a car wash model in our showers where there's just big blow dryers? Because it's much faster to just towel off. But it's it feels cheaper. nicer in warm air. I don't know. Yeah. Did you, wait, growing up, did you guys ever have the heater, like the wall heater in your bathroom that you could crank up and, and uh, like. I mm -hmm. didn't, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We used to have one of those in our old. That was great. Like a lamp? No, it's, no like, it's like an inset heater into the wall. It's like a space heater, but in the wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. mm. Crank that baby up. And, and it's chilly when you get out of the shower. You know? one, yeah, of, yeah. one of my friends was very wealthy, had a like heated towel pole right in the bathroom. I mean, so you, you can get one of those at Bed Bath & Beyond for like 15 <laughs> yeah. bucks. But then, and then, so like everything <laughs> hey, in the bathroom is very here. wealthy. Friend. <laughs> he had it back in 2000. I didn't get to finish. He so. had 15 bucks to fucking blow at <laughs> Bed Bath yeah. Beyond. He, he fucking mowed Phyllis's lawn that week so he could go buy himself a heated towel pole. So hey, there sorry, was, Tyler, go ahead. The floor was heated. The the toilet was heated. So you could set the heating levels. So like if you wanted your towel to be warm or you wanted your shorts to be warm. So when I would stay there. if you there, wanted your shit to be warm, you could. If you it. wanted your ass to be warm, I'd never use that. I didn't like that. The heated toilet seat. No, I mean, I'm, I'm there to make the seat hot. It's not going to yes. make me hot. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm used to the hot seat. Yeah. yeah. But when I would stay there, I would like have my bag of clothes and I would have all my clothes sit on the heater. So when I got up in the morning, I put on all fresh, warm clothes. and It was the fucking best. Yeah. Fuck, he must have been rich. He, he was. <laughs> I also have this thing where, so we have a bath mat right when you get out of the shower. And then I have a bath mat in front of my mirror. Mm -hmm. So once in a while, I'll just get too excited to get get going on with the routine that I'll mostly towel off on the bath mat right outside the shower. And then I'll go finish on the other bath mat. <laughs> so, so then... <laughs> So then, though, you've made that bath mat all wet. I bet. <laughs> so then I go put my clothes on and socks on in the closet. And then I come back to the mirror to like put lotion on my face or shave something or whatever. And I have to st I have to see where I was standing when I was wet and stand like really weirdly close to the thing, yeah. so that my socks don't get wet for the bath mat. Mm. Mm. So I, understand. I deserve an award for that. <laughs> able to do that. It's like Mission Impossible. Yeah, I was going to say, lasers. you're just dodging obstacles. <laughs> yeah, right. You just might as well add some lasers to my bath <laughs> mat at this point. With the pools of water. Yeah, lasers in between the first and second bath mat, though. I mean, you know. <laughs> so, and the reason why I deserve an award is because... <sighs> And thinks that I am mostly incapable of doing anything ever, right? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, 
it's not because I just get distracted, right? You know, you get into the closet, you take off, you're done toweling off, you get your clothes on. And I'm already thinking about the next thing and I just forget about the towel, right? It's not about that. So when I do remember, it's like, hey, honey, I did exactly what you wanted to. And I know that seems weird that I deserve an award for that, but we're humans and we deserve mm -hmm. positive reinforcement. So if I had a little trophy, for that, that would be nice. Maybe a medal. <laughs> I just always said a towel on top of it, yeah. like a laid out the towel. Golden towel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next shower, I get to use the golden towel. <laughs> Make sure you hang it back up. Twenty four karat golden towel. Right. It's like a terrible towel. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. I, yeah, yeah. I would say something that I would like an award for would be being able to time out the car wash dryers oh yeah to where your car is is efficiently dried and your your tailgate is coming out right as that clock is hitting mm -hmm. zero you want to be utilizing all those seconds to its to its fullest yeah you paid for those seconds 100 so percent. gotta use them all the last car wash I, I got i think i i i fucked up i think i got <laughs> out of there with like shitty with like 21 seconds yeah. left and i was thinking about backing up <laughs> but there was someone behind mm -hmm. me i didn't feel bad about i wouldn't feel bad about it um, I was gonna be <laughs> shitty about it and just you know I paid for those twenty one seconds, but yeah. I I didn't have Get the heart the fender to. bender. Yeah, I didn't have the heart to. And then and then his water's fucking going and that's splashing. The, I, I'm like I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. We, so we at about, least though, like your award, that takes some skill. It does, it right? Does. You it's like seventy seconds. You don't just you don't just waltz up to the car wash line and do it perfect the first time you do it. Man, I would it take some practice. It, I'd say you only do it perfect even after you've done it perfect once. You maybe only do it one out of every five times. Oh yeah, at least yeah. Whereas yeah. like the towel thing, you can just do that <laughs> without any skill. You know, yeah. uh, I, we at what? what point, what's your strategy for drying off your car after a car wash? The well, blowers. So usually it's like what sixty-five to seventy seconds. Seventy at the one that I go to. Anyway. Jesus, sure. Well, it's, a, it's at the holiday. I mean, we all go to. They're the up same to one. seventy now. Right. Yeah, I think it's seventy. Anyways, I when I'm at they're 30, just giving away free air at this. Point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah fr free seconds. What a deal <laughs> holidays got going. <laughs> Don't air. pass air. Turn on in <laughs> to holiday car washes. Hey, the to fill up air in your tires is free there too. I mean, free air in this economy. <laughs> <laughs> there are places that you have to pay a mm -hmm. dollar to fill your fill your tires up. So, anyways, what were you gonna say? What's your strategy? So, when I'm at about in between, like, because I feel like the front's more important than the back. The back's just my. It's whatever. So, at 35 seconds, I need to see. I need to see those beads of water splashing off my back wind my back window mm -hmm. at about 30, 35 seconds. Of your pickup? Of my pickup. Okay. Yep. And at that point I know, okay, I'm pretty on time. So I can keep kind of inching forward. Make sure I get all all the water off the top of my tonneau cover. Mm -hmm. Um and then I mean, ideally, like my hitch receiver is spotless when I come out at zero. Yeah. Yeah. I'd See, say you're right. Like 30, 35 seconds remaining is where you got to be going past your back door. Hand. So yep. what I, I always remember it being 60 seconds, but let's say it is six seconds. I usually break my car up into thirds. Mm. So mm. the first 20 seconds I have until you get just past the windshield, then I have the cab mm -hmm. and then I have the back for 20 seconds. So I do it. I'm on a 20, 20, 20 sure. regimen. That's a good way to look at it. 20, 20, 20 vision. <laughs> 20. Yeah, 2020 vision. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and again, uh, last time was an absolute disaster. I I damn near just pulled all the way back around just to get another car wash <laughs> to get I, things dried out. Did I ever tell you guys that one time my license plate blew off? No, <laughs> no. The car wash? Yeah, I don't know what happened, but it was apparently hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Literally. And I got out and I got home, and there was no license plate on my car. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> So then I went back and it was still at the car wash. So then I had to wait for a car to come through to the front kid so I could go in and grab it. They give you a tip. Yeah, uh, it's like the sandlot trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I go in there and they're like, they're like, yeah, just wipe down my mirrors if you could. Take your shirt. No, that's all. Yeah, you can turn the water off. Uh, one thing that I think I deserve an award for. Is discovering a really good TV show before the masses does. That one, that is tough to do. This one, I think, is my 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 shining grace. 
I had season one of Game of Thrones on DVD. Oh, fuck before off. Before it was no, streaming. Didn't. I have it still. Really? I bought it at Walmart before a road trip when I was like 13 and watched it all on a portable DVD player. I'm like, this show is fucking awesome. And then I had to wait for season two to come out on DVD. Do you still have the DVD set? I think so. Somewhere. Yeah. What year did that come out in? It had to been like 2009 or 10. Jeez. So you were 13 in 2009? I would have been in ninth grade. So yeah, somewhere around Oh, there. you had to have in the fr- Game of Thrones mm-hmm. is notorious for uh, mm-hmm. f- for <laughs> giving you nudie scenes right off the bat yep. and then never giving it to you again. But you have to keep watching because you never know. You yep. know that boobies could show up. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. You were probably in the back of the vehicle watching yep, that back, thing. Back of the van on. on the portable DVD player. Like, like, no leg, one can see this, right? Legs <laughs> crossed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Snapchat firing. Yep. Send it, yeah. He had a towel off. <laughs> but yeah. Hey. Fuck, episode one was intense. Anyone got some napkins? <laughs> uh, you, got, you got some napkins in the glove box? I just finished episode well, one. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was I watched it all myself on that portable DVD player. And my dad, who was driving the whole trip, is like, hey, when you're done with that show, I want to watch it too. <laughs> So then he just knew Ooh. that I was looking at tits the whole time in the backseat of the, the vacation. Yeah, you should have the, ran- the whole time. There's like a maybe 13 seconds of boobs <laughs> in the whole first season. Yeah, but I mean, Pam Andy's boobies. I mean, the first episode, classic. there's like three se- scenes of it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's a great move by TV shows. Yeah. yeah. You should you should have thrown that DVD across the parking lot and scratched it up a bit. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Dad. Dad. <laughs> God, yeah, it. <laughs> that's the only part that is just. Oh like yeah, here's here. a DVD. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, crap, crap. <laughs> you probably wouldn't have liked it anyway. <laughs> yeah, more of a 13 year old show than a 35 year old show. Yeah, yeah. But I think I should have got an award for that because I was into it way before the world was. So once the world got into it, were you a little bit annoyed? A little bit. Um, the thing that I don't like, I hate when people get mad at the person for being like, I've been saying this for years. It's good. They're right. They have been saying it for years. You should have listened. But yeah, I was a little bit like, yeah, I know. I've fucking seen season one already three times. Were yeah. you trying to I, s- mean, I felt that way when I first discovered Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been saying it the whole time. I've been <laughs> saying it for years. And then now finally, because she puts out a country song, everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> irresistible. <laughs> you hear it a lot with like artists, like music artists. People are like, oh, yeah, I've been on that for person for but, years. Yeah, but then everyone's always like, oh, if you liked her so much, you should have put a ring on it. And it's like, <laughs> okay, I tried. Yeah, what do you want me to do? The fucking world's on fire. Is that one of her songs? Oh, Alicia Keys. Fuck that. Is yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Cut I think it is. I could be wrong. No, no, I hey, think hey, you're right. Ryan and also, just, isn't just it drunk on this love girl right now. is on fire? Isn't that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not this world is on fire. That's what I think. Yeah. Went to Alicia Keys concert. He's, he's drunk on love right now. <laughs> well, yeah, Super Bowl. It's just Alicia Key, and then we watch that uh, visualization video. Or whatever the fuck it's called? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, you know, I like Beyonce back when she was unwritten. Like, that's, <laughs> that's not Natasha Beyonce. That's Natasha <laughs> uh, That's good. I'm trying to think of another one. Give me an umbrella. I'm raining L's. That's Rihanna, dude. Oh, I thought you were actually doing that as a real bit. <laughs> I mean, if we want to say gas station specific too, I'm going to divert the conversation away from that huge L I just took. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can't divert by saying I'm I'm diverting now. Diverting. Um, <laughs> being able to being able to stop the gas pump on zeros oh, yeah. or on I the exact dollar, yeah, but and and not with you. You don't get the extra pumps either. Yeah, it's, it's one. It's one fucking release of the handle, mm-hmm. and it's zero. It's mm-hmm. Zeroed out. Like like, what Holiday should do is like their blue lights should just start should just start blinking and flashing and like it, you should almost turn it into a fucking party when someone does that. I think I think I should get an award for backing up a trailer perfectly the first time. It's and up. I'm not and I, you know a lot of times you back it up pretty good, but then you kind of got to straighten it out just yep. a little bit. If you can do it perfect, one whistle job back. <laughs> And you're done. That deserves 
that deserves all the awards in my opinion yeah it's also yeah, it's a big swinging dick move big time remember i'd back that trailer up we'd get in the patio furniture like yeah. a, god that i even put the pressure on him too i was like everyone watch ryan back this trailer up. <laughs> i yeah I, I kicked i kicked kicked the guy out of his own truck i said you let you, you hand this over to dad <laughs> watch it watch it. <laughs> he literally did one of the <laughs> other guys that works here was driving his truck and ryan said let me get in there i'm, like, <laughs> I'm gonna the god that was I'm sick gonna, i'm gonna whistle this sucker back <laughs> it's so good that you got it on the first try because if you didn't after kicking him out of his oh, own God. truck. Yeah, well, I, mean, yeah. I, I probably would just have driven away. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drive back to the office. You guys, yes, he look at Jack Nyson and then just burns out of there. <laughs> He just gets out. He's not talking to anyone. Like, what are you doing? He unhooks the trailer and just leaves. <laughs> unhooks the trailer in the middle of the road. No, you get you guys out. can wheel it up. You like jack knives and gets out and looks at him. You're like, God, the tires must not be aligned on this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I had it perfect. What happened? Yeah. Backup cam got squirrely on me. Uh, yeah. Didn't even have to ask anyone to move their vehicles off. Then it, it was seamless. <laughs> I was a little nervous you were gonna scrape the side of one of the trucks sitting there. I mean, mean, though, would have been kind of funny, though, if you did. For like three seconds, then I'd have been like, oh, God. Well, because then you got to go talk to the guy, exchange insurance. It's just this whole mess, you know. Ask where they're from. So. I think that deserves an award. Yep. I think we should. I think your parents should get an award for keeping toddlers alive because it's just a constant battle of them trying to kill themselves in different ways. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's almost like you get like like high school graduation. Like everybody yeah. celebrates that you graduate. Like you should celebrate that you. And I don't think the kids your- should like on their birthday. They shouldn't get to celebrate being alive for a year more. The parents should celebrate keeping them alive yeah, for a year I like more. That. Until they can fend for themselves, birthday shouldn't be about the kids. It should yeah. be about the parents because they're eating shit they shouldn't. That could poison them. They're trying to stick their fingers yeah. in outlets and stuff, jumping off of things. It's not an easy task. Oh, and I mean, it's the anniversary of the day that your wife gave birth. Mm-hmm. You got that should also be celebrated. Yeah. Kind of is. It, it, moms but, get a little more. It's yeah. mostly the dads on birthdays. Yeah. yeah, I almost passed out from too much caffeine intake. <laughs> it was very nauseated. That isn't scary on a birthday. No, uh, when we went to the hospital. Delivery. Yeah, like, ripped a five hour on the way. It's like a two block drive. Ripped a five hour. And uh, <laughs> did you stop at the gas hour. station on the way? No, they didn't open until six, dude. It was five thirty. So then I, I had to call you. I said, "Hey, oh, I'm yeah. in the middle of something right now. But if you could do me a huge favor, and I had to do like a weird drug drop of your five hours. Yeah, I just told you to put them in the wheel well of my yeah. pickup. Here's where my pickup. Jeez. So I'm in the. Hospital parking lot looking for Drug Ryan's deal. car and I stick five hours. So Ryan, I don't know how you're going to take this, but I think you might have a problem. And if you're I al- wondering, this is an intervention. I yeah. also just wanted to. Well, okay, also, that was a year and a half ago. I, I, I'm off the five hours. Things have now. changed. Things Been have done. changed a lot. I'm, I'm just on a s- yeah. espresso. No, dude, I don't just rip. Ever clear anymore. I just <laughs> I just hammer straight whiskey now. It's way different. Uh no, I have grown as a human when it comes to caffeine consumption. I was uh, I was probably at about six to seven hundred milligrams a day. And I would say now I'm probably at like five three hundred, oh. like sub three hundred, maybe. Cutting it in half is good. Yeah. So if your wife says it's okay to stop at the gas station. You got to. You probably had some days that you were above one k milligrams. Probably. Jesus Christ. I mean, that was back. That was like 2018, 2019, maybe. That's when Bang Energies were hot, and I mean, oh, those yeah. were three hundred to the yep. dome. Ugh. We were sucking those down in the old office, left yeah. and right. Yep. You guys were doing a lot of sucking down. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, what about you? What do you deserve an award for? So I would say it's. Getting my taxes done, not doing my taxes. It's just like, like doing them yourself. No, like just getting like the files ready. Oh. <laughs> like not even doing. So it. you really, yeah. you deserve an award for prepping for taxes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hate it. Well, I, I mean, can't stand it. technically, your return could be considered an award. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. But it was his money to begin right. with. <laughs> that is yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, he did earn that money already. Participation money. <laughs> Yeah, you just gave the government a tax-free loan or a interest-free loan for a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, That's, I, it is it is great to have a wife in that scenario because she's kind of got everything. Like, hey, I need this, this, and this. Email it to me, and I'll get it to the right person. Yeah, 
yeah, I just I just hate like organizing all the documents. So time out. As a W two employee, mm-hmm. you really only have one document. Yeah, but there's a couple more I have. Yeah, you could have bet your like, like your student, investments, or, student loan mm. stuff. Yeah, it's just yeah, crypto. There, yeah, there's like a, something like that I have as well. Wait, are you in? Are you heavy in crypto? No, not really. It's just like on Robin Hood. That's he's, what you use. Yeah, I mean, you you, know. need, you need that stuff, right? You know, uh, he's got to uh, realize all of his losses that he did on <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> God, he, the fucking he, bored ape didn't yeah, work out. A couple bored apes <laughs> didn't pan out like he thought. So tax write off. I actually just did make money off Bitcoin. Really? Yeah, it was like eighty bucks I made. Let's go. Yeah, I just cash. Throw that into a quick parlay, <laughs> <laughs> or eighty separate throw on, parlays throw for it on a buck. black. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think I will. So yeah, I think that's mine because I hate doing it. Anything with documents and e-sign and. Even no, like, I will actually say. When it comes to documents, I really do love e-signing. Like if I can get the link to my email, click the button, and then just click buttons all the way through, I really <laughs> next, do. Next, 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 next. Very finish. for some because you guys know me. You put a document in front of me, I will sign it. I won't read it. So the fact that I can click a button and the whole page scrolls past all the shit I didn't mm-hmm. want to read. Now I don't even have to look for where to sign. It just <laughs> takes me to it. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> well, you don't even have to sign. You just like you just adopt the signature, click yeah, to sign. This is random cursive. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. as a, as adults, we there, we don't really get awards anymore. There are no awards. You might get fucking I don't know. You might get uh, fucking peas in your hair or something from your kid throwing food. Like that's that's the type yeah. of shit that. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's, that's a shitty award. Very. Yeah. You kids, might get shit all underneath your fingernails. I don't think I should put that anywhere remotely close to the category of an award, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, but that, just saying that's the type of shit that's happening these days. It's not. Uh, well, wait, I guess we already did that. I was going to say, what would you like an award for? But you already told me. <laughs> I, I will shut thy fuck up. <laughs> uh, I also think there should be an award for getting your kid to daycare on time. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. If my kid misses breakfast, he's going to be pissed. So much easier said than done. Very, oh, yeah. Very. Especially on a Monday. when You got a whole bunch of extra shit you got to bring with them. Well, and when they just they're not going to come down the stairs and let you put their coat on <laughs> them and gloves and hat. Or and you do put their gloves on and then you go to put their shoes on. They take the gloves off and fucking chuck them. So here's the a room. question. Yeah. I don't know this yet, but it sounds like one of the problems is getting the gear on them, right? Oh, yeah. So here's what I propose as a new product idea, million dollar idea, all right? What it is, is it's just a big insulated blanket with uh, with pockets on the outside. So you're going to take the kid's shoes and you're going to put them in the pockets. It's going to be like a sleeping bag really is what it is. Okay. Put the shoes, all the other stuff, and you're just going to go up to your kid and just wrap it around them and take them out to the car. <laughs> then you get to daycare and have them deal with it. You're paying them for yeah. something. Well, the thing is, you, you like, like I'll put boots on my kid, but he doesn't walk to the truck or he doesn't walk into daycare. So when Why I get does to he da- need them, when I get to daycare, mm-hmm. I just take them out. He does not even touch the ground. Boom. So just wrap them in this blanket and just throw them in the car. If we can make the blanket somehow, you can keep the blanket on them and still strap them into the car seat. I'm in. Yeah. yeah it's like a ratchet strap. Yeah, on yeah. Have you ever, have, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> have you ever seen a straight jacket before? Same thing. <laughs> it's the prototype. That's yeah. what we can call it. The straight jacket. Yeah. They kind of do make straight jackets for kids. They're like swaddle wrap deals that are yeah. basically straight jackets. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Straight jackets got a bad wrap. We'll call it <laughs> a have swaddle. A good, they do have a good wrap. It'll be a they, swaddle. They, wrap. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but. <laughs> it's got potential. So, well, should we take a break? Yep. Ryan, you know what you need to be doing next time you're trying to time out the car wash <laughs> at holiday? Probably snacking on something. You need to be <laughs> snacking. Like if people are going and doing a car wash first, you are so doing it wrong. For real. Yeah, you could go in and get a for real shake as well. You could get yeah, you could you get it, you could get it for real. But you gotta go into the gas station first, grab 
Any three cookies, three Any pack. Any three cookies, three pack. Or cookie or cup. Or cookie cup. $1.99. For $1.99. It's a steal. Then you can make sure you get a little bit of a sugar rush. Get the fucking freaking <laughs> synapse, synopsis in the neural synapses. pathways really firing. Yeah. A little sugar rush. Then you're going to be timing that. I would love to see a study. This is, we're experiment podcasts. <laughs> we're just, what we do? We're going to take an afternoon. We're all going to go to the gas station. We're each going to go through five times. With, <laughs> so it'd be 20 total times through. And then we're going to get the cookies and we're going to eat those and then go through and see how good we do timing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See how dry that, I mean, you can count the water beads on it too. <laughs> yeah. We'll have, we'll, no, we'll, we'll have some data. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll see what the data shows. And I have a feeling, gut feeling, which that's what science is all about is gut feelings. Mm -hmm. That's the hypothesis part of the science. Yeah. Method. It's yeah. a theory, mm -hmm. a gut theory. And uh, we'll see. But you may be, even be able to get a deal on the car wash by purchasing something in store. I don't know if that's a thing, but. Yeah. Car wash club. I don't think that that's a thing at all, but we can, we can bring it up to the holiday folks. Mm -hmm. buy something first get a dollar off or something yeah not an official holiday <laughs> deal or statement or even thought of theirs but <laughs> we'll pitch we're pitch men yeah mm -hmm. i mean buck 99 you can find that in the fucking coin in the coin jar of your <laughs> in center console <laughs> so guys don't pass uh. gas turn on it into holiday gas stations all right, guys, uh, before we get into some questions, I just wanted to discuss what my, I said I was on a road trip. I went to Lansing, Iowa, not to be confused mm. with Lansing, Michigan. Not the capital of Michigan. Mm -mm. Lansing, Iowa, where they had the bush light curling event, which was actually, you know, you hear that and you're like, oh, how, how cool can that be? I was thoroughly impressed by this event. So basically... They just take 30 racks of bush light, put a cake pan underneath it, and then they had like a little handle on top, and you just throw them like curling stones Did you have on the frozen river. Did you have like sweepers? Yeah, they had brooms, but I wasn't doing much mm. that day. They say usually what happens is if there's more snow, you can like brush snow in front of the other person's thing, oh, that, yeah. stone that they sure. throw uh, yeah. to so slow it down. Sweeping. It, there's not enough skill and ability to sweep to make it make of a difference to go faster, but you can slow it down by sweeping stuff in front of it. Mm. Is what it sounds like. Gotcha. Yeah, turns kind of more into a game of shuffleboard with like the uh, with the sand on top. Yeah, I'm trying to navigate that. Yeah, so that was pretty cool, and I'm glad I went. And all the people from Lansing, Iowa, were pretty good people, pretty good folks. Any tip ups on the river? There, there was down out? the river a little bit. There was, but. Uh, yeah, other than that, it was fun. I I did do a celeb shot for one of the teams. We ended up winning, so not to brag. <laughs> did you get a, Did you get an award? No, I didn't. Things you should get an award. <laughs> Things you should for. get an award I should for. Get an award for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty fun, and uh, I would recommend it to. They're gonna. I mean, they'll have it again next year, but you got to be quick. The teams fill up fast. They said 64 teams signed up within 20 minutes. Holy Jesus. shit. <laughs> Great time in mid mid February. It's like, what should we do? It's the middle of winter. Not that really this year, but something good to do. Yeah, it's like, you know, we used to do the You Bet You Palooza with the cornhole tournament on ice. It's making that look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like I got there, I was like, God, I wish this would have been my idea. This is way <laughs> yeah. cooler than cornhole on ice because there's no reason to do it on ice. Just right. to say, except to say you did it on yeah, ice. Yeah, it's just like, oh, cool, yeah. we're hanging out on the ice. But at least this, you utilize mm -hmm. the ice. So that marked that up as a L, I think, for me to not have thought of that. <laughs> but uh, it started just like you thought. Guy was ice fishing. He was a little mad about something and kicked his case of beer, <laughs> slid across the ice, and they're like, holy shit. <laughs> nice. That's kind of fun. That is kind of sweet. Hey, you do that. You, see, you do better than me. And the best part about it is they are it's not serious at all. Yeah. The scoring is very loose, the rules are very loose, and the prize is not much to prevent people from getting out of hand. Sure. I like that actually. A little different than like a summer cornhole mm -hmm. tournament worth 
10 five grand, grand. yeah, yeah you got whatever. It. then you got the hardos professionals showing up this is just yeah this is just the amateurs out on the ice drinking beer having a good time that's so what is it was. there any strategy maybe you wanted a little bit of a lighter curling stone so you crack into your case i didn't i didn't see anyone do that but i'm sure that was going on yeah i'm sure it was by the end, you just got an empty case. <laughs> yeah, it just, just blows throwing, away. You're just yeah. throwing cake pans down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like what that fishing derby video when the guy cheated. Uh, the, oh, the, yeah, with the weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with the That's weights. How it ends up. Yeah. All, I know, all I know is the local grocery store is absolutely licking their chops every time around this Every year around this time because they they got to stock up on cake pans. Was it a BYO Ooh. CP? I don't know. I don't they, know if they were provided or not. They were the dispose of them, disposable ones. No, I'm sure they reuse them. Uh, oh, you yeah. maybe get a little bit of a Pam and spray some Pam on the bottom of your cake pan. Oh, yeah. Or, or, the, or the stuff pam. on Christmas vacation when he goes down the mountain yeah. Yeah. on a saucer. <laughs> Ryan doesn't remember that at all. I don't know. It sounds funny. <laughs> I don't that. either. It's funny, Ryan. Uh, Clark Griswold, he like brags that there's like this super like anti friction spray that he sprays in the bottom of his sled and then he goes, Oh, down, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. The, the sled starts on fire. Yeah. It's like Happy Gilmore is uh, when. Uh, uh, Here we go. <laughs> who is the girlfriend in Happy Gilmore? Uh, Virginia Valentine. Bennett. Vicky Valentine, yeah. She soups up his lawnmower and he fucking goes 80 that's, down That's Waterboy. Or Waterboy. Water God just, damn. It's just none of that is even <laughs> remotely close to the same thing. Well, it's, it's just using another movie analogy. It's soup something up. Oh, Valancourt. That's her name. Vicky Valancourt, yeah. Valencourt. It's all it, damn near all VVs for the significant that's others. true. Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> so. so, guys, Lansing, thanks for having us. And... Next year, you guys got to check it out. Even if you don't make any teams, it's still a fun time. You just go drink, watch people throw some stuff. They have food, all that. So. Oh, yeah. Throw a couple pass. flags down next time. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably no rules about that. It's got a license. Yeah. All right, Jared, you got some questions for us? I do. Um, Alex Smith. Alex Smith. When is it appropriate to wear a trench coat? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say if you're going to streak at a ball game. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's definitely trench coat material. Uh, Comic-Con. Could be go as Neo in the Matrix. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Comic-Con was definitely high on my list. <laughs> yep. Okay, I, I, I've, I've had a tough day, uh, tough podcast taking out. What, what's the movie where it starts out with the guy in the it, it starts out with the guy in the parking lot with a trench coat on? Oh, observing a report. Okay, I was the yeah, yeah. Aaron report. What do you like? Just flashing people. It, I've never it, seen it, that. Yeah, that, that's, I haven't yeah. either. Of course, that's the one. <laughs> I'm so glad you knew that, Jared. Otherwise, I would. So you think mad. that's appropriate? No, I just I. <laughs> I mean, if if you're in a grocery store parking lot and you know, don't on always. Have you seen Always Sunny? That's just a little bit. I lot. think they call their trench coat a duster. Oh yeah, duster coat's a trench coat. Yeah. For cousin. It's like the. They, I think that they probably answered this question better than we did. They talk about how cool it is to wear a duster in certain situations. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between a trench coat and like a long pea coat? Well, Not I think, much. I think pea coats are the sh- are the cocktail <laughs> dress of the ball gown that is a trench coat. Okay, so okay, so there is a, <laughs> so a long yeah. pea coat is just charts. a trench coat. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I, I'm guessing. So pea coat is kind of like a cocktail dress, and then a trench coat is like a ball gown. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking yeah, dude. Um, I think any situation you're trying to be a little mysterious. You know, if uh, you father a child that you have no part of because you didn't know and then you find out later and you want to show up to his football game when he's 15. Stand outside the fence. You want to stand outside the fence in a in a trench coat. Absolutely. Yep. Sure. Sunglasses on at night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or if you're a kid and there's like a height limit, you just get on your buddy's shoulders. Yep. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like yeah. on Space Jam when they do that yeah, move. Little, little rascals at the bank. Yep. Classic. Um. Yeah, I just... Who is keeping... I mean, it's got to be mostly creepy men <laughs> that are keeping the trench coat community. I feel like I, I think the tre- trench coat needs a rebrand, I think. Big time. I, How would you guys rebrand the trench coat? Probably cut more into a cocktail style dress, <laughs> cocktail style coat. Maybe shorten it up. Yeah. Refer to it as a, like a cloak more than a. Yeah. 
I think that the, I think one way they could rebrand. You guys could maybe throw stones at this if you want. <coughs> but I was watching the NBA All Star Game. I think that w- like warm up uniforms should have feature a trench coat. <laughs> well, they kind of they kind of wear trench coats in the NFL. When like when, when they cold. go back yeah. on the sidelines, yeah, just throw some <laughs> buttons on that sucker, and you got a trench coat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, make it look like a starter jacket from back in the day, mm-hmm. like a retro '90s thing. You but all the way to the floor. <laughs> yeah. Just add a little decoration. I think the trench coats get a bad rap because it's just this plain tan, scary looking thing. Add some bling to it. I think that mm-hmm. also uh, motorcycle clubs need to rebrand their leather vests into just leather mm. trench coats. They do make like mm. long trench leather biking things that like billow behind the biker. That's what I'm drive. saying. As they're driving, it's flapping like a cape. That yeah. would be sick. Like it's stuck in the tire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the other, it's like trench coats are used for streaking, <laughs> flashing. And dealing some sort of illegal paraphernalia, right? <laughs> yeah, you need that's, real, that's where you, you keep, the, real you keep the bags of drugs taped to the yeah. outside of the coat. That's what I'm saying. Coat. It's like, well, the, yeah. that's what trench coats are used yeah. for is all shady shit. I'm pretty sure the Neighborhood Watch logo has a trench coat. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah, isn't the incognito tab like got a guy in a trench coat on it? I don't know. I've never it's used like a- it. <laughs> Okay, Pam Anderson boobies. <laughs> I didn't I know you did that Game of Thrones season one. Crazy tracks, guys. Dude, your mind, is about to <laughs> your mind is about to be blown once you discover it. Uh, that's a, when it's acceptable when you're Inspector Gadget. Yeah. yeah. Any detective or with crime, mm-hmm. really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just needs a rebrand. You know, maybe NBA All Star game isn't the move, but it's got to be something. Um, maybe that's why I should get you guys company gear, embroidered logo with <laughs> on a trench coat, and we can all <laughs> trench it up. A tr- I mean, a trench coat is just essentially just a robe for outside. Yeah, and I'll even yeah, attach some like meaning point. to it, right? Like business is war, and we're in trench warfare. So I got yeah. you guys all trench coats. <laughs> they used to we- they used to wear those in the war. Didn't like the higher up generals used to wear those long ass. I think they used to wear them in the trench. When it would rain or I think. Hmm. I don't know. That would make sense. Look up the origin of trench coat. Because I'm thinking like, it, it, like even if it's, you know, your, your sh- boots and shit are still going to get wet. Trench coat. First, First World, World War. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I thought you were doing that as a bit. Another L. <laughs> Like literally, it, most of the time you get like a huge paragraph that's confusing of what the actual consensus is on a certain origin. But this is one line. It just says First World War, originally referring to a type of coat worn by soldiers in the trenches. And that's it. Google's never that precise and clear. Google's like, this is a layout. Yeah, there's no gray area with, with this answer. Well, I'm more so answering the question so we can, we can you know. Yeah. Asking the questions so we get to the answer. I want you to click on the carrot that says, why does no one wear trench coats anymore? Why does Long black overcoats uh, and leather trench coats ooh, are yeah. closely associated with German military. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it could definitely use a rebrand. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, let's. Uh, we're not trench coat guys, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think the NBA will be using trench coats. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, God, we are idiots. <laughs> How do we not put that together? Okay. I rescind all and oh, We got to the so. bottom of it, though. We did. Educational. We are yeah. an educational yeah, I'm podcast. All, I, I'm oh all God. about learning, and today we learned about the trench coat. <laughs> I'm about L's. I don't yeah. think <laughs> that they're coming back from that one. I think that that <laughs> one's maybe too far gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think let's just maybe now try to rebrand pea coats a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Make them a little bit longer, maybe. Pivoting. Yeah. Hey, can I get a long pea coat? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Rhonda aroused me. 
<laughs> what is the appropriate cereal to milk ratio? Hmm. Hmm. I suppose it depends on the cereal. I'm going to go two thirds cereal, one third milk. I was just going to have it. The general rule of thumb is that you, you shouldn't be able to see a full piece of cereal when the milk is in the bowl as well. So it, like the, the, the milk should be covering the entire bowl of cereal. That mm. seems like a lot of milk yeah. to me. Unless it's raisin. But bread. that also gives you another excuse to have a second bowl because you're like, oh, I can't waste this milk. Yeah, I used to do that as a kid, and then I have so much milk left over that as an adult, now that I'm way smarter than a child, <laughs> I don't That's do great. that anymore, Ryan. See, when I, I pour the cereal in, and then I stop pouring milk when I just start to see the milk come up Correct. to the middle of the cereal. Really? So maybe yeah. maybe it's a half to it's a half each, half and half. Yeah, it, I mean, it is different cereal. To, if the cereal floats, then I'm going to be putting in less milk. Because I, so I won't just drink the milk out of the bowl. I have, the milk has to be eaten with the cereal. So I will keep putting cereal in the bowl until the milk is gone. It's fine. I think you're addicted to cereal. I do go on a, I mean, I, I'll, 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 I could eat a box in one day. That's a lot of cereal. I mean, look at him. He's like a buck no. 35 soaking wet. You can use <laughs> buck it. Buck 70 <laughs> in the mornings too. Buck 75 at night. Before the cereal, like <laughs> buck eighty, like buck eighty. Today we could just dress you as a schoolboy from nineteen twenty, and you would look <laughs> like. Hey, that's we can put him in a trench coat, and it won't be weird. It's before World War Two. Yeah, it's before the dirty <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, you what just, is that? What is this? Like if we put you in really short shorts and like a tank top with a logo on it, you would look like you're in gym class in nineteen twenty. <laughs> yeah, I look like I could play for the Hoosiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> great just, movie, great you, movie. You have great that nineteen twenties body. <laughs> so like what is it sculpted? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I just would say more it's just kinda you're kinda tiny. <laughs> you know, people are smaller back then. Like you fit perfectly into the old theater seats that are really narrow. <laughs> Like Lambo, they say that they can't redo the seats for modern day seats because then they can't fit as many. But Ryan has no problem at Lambo. He's got plenty of space on either side. No, yeah. You better hope you're sitting next to me on the plane. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you walk right. down the aisle, you see Ryan sitting there, you're fucking spread eagle. <laughs> uh, and know what? I'm okay with ragging on Ryan for being a smaller guy because he rags on me for being fat. <laughs> no. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Constantly. When? The, when we're talking about the gumball, uh, uh, the cannonball run, you said weights could be a factor with the vehicles. <laughs> it looked right at me. <laughs> yeah, you you did. didn't let me finish where you I was did. going with You're that. like, weight's going to be an issue. <laughs> I was talking about the energy drink pallet we were going to put in the back of the vehicle. You had like a slight pause that you were like. Kind it of- was a com- There was a comma there. I was speaking the comma. I think it was a dot, dot, dot. It wasn't a comma. (laughs) In ellipses. (laughs) So, anyways. Uh, Just such a ricochet shot on Ryan. (laughs) Jack shotgun. What kind of belt accessories are good? Example, cell phone, Leatherman, knife, hatchets, etc. Ooh. Uh, I... For my sword? I was gifted... (laughs) my dredge coat. (laughs) Belt accessories. Uh, yep. I was gifted by an old farmer where we go pheasant hunting. He, I was gifted a pliers with a leather holster. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's nice. That's a great one because mm-hmm. you don't, you know, like pocket knives are cool, mm-hmm. but sometimes you know a, a knife isn't going to do the job. You need a pliers instead. So yeah, I think that's a good one. Yeah, pull your kids tooth out with a mm-hmm. pocket knife or are you going to pull it out with the players? <laughs> I would say a military uh, police grade flashlight is usually a good accessory <laughs> to a belt. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever felt one of those? My dad had one, like the big black yeah, ones. They're heavy duty. <laughs> <laughs> they're heavy. They got a lot of batteries in those suckers. It's got a lot of power. The big yeah, D good batteries. Weight, good weight to them. And now it's like, what happened? 
What was wrong with the giant flashlight? Now it's like a race to see who can make the smallest flashlight possible. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Flashlights are it's just like 10 years like behind phone phones. And a laptop. You know what I mean? Like you you go into Fleet Farm, you look at the flashlight, it's like they're all like, it's so small, small and easy to hold. It's like, well, I need some with some good weight to it. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of like the pistol grip spotlights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are great. <laughs> I do like casing a joint with a pistol, <laughs> with a pistol grip spotlight. G Dave's got one of those old flashlights that's a tube like this, and then it turns, so you have to hold it like this. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Nice. Yeah, but then you can also tip it straight up. It doesn't hold. move. Oh, no. it's just a perfect ninety degree angle. My dad had one that had like a a movable arm where it could go anywhere, yeah. so he could just be like coming up to a corner, fucking peek his head around, and then just tilt the thing into <laughs> the corner. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that was. Uh, I used to have a belt buckle back in middle school. I'd wear it to middle school dance. Maybe like probably like sixth grade, early middle school. Um, it had like the, the, is it the LCD screen where you could like type in something. On the backside. <laughs> Hell yeah. And it would like, really? It, and it would flash across. What'd you write on it? I can't remember. Probably like danger zone or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably it's probably still in my package cha- delivered yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah your package has arrived uh, place buttocks here <laughs> you gotta bring really that doing in. some grinding at the seventh grade dance <laughs> it may still be Psycho. in my bedroom back home in, back in my is. hometown it's, it's that is your one led thing that i'm here for actually it's it's kind of cool can you and wear it to the office if i can find it absolutely but here's the thing. It was way too big for me when, when I was in, in sixth grade. So I had to, I think my dad had to cut like a, a new like belt loop hole through it. Mm. And the, like the excess of the belt after I got it strapped was like 18 <laughs> inches long. So I had to go through like this first loop on your left hip and then like all the way to the back for that loop. That's because you have a 1920s body. No, I was a, like, I was a big, I was a husky, I was a husky kid in, in middle school. I'm not buying that at all. You know, I'll show you I feel photos. like you've always been a runt. No, no, I was a husky kid. So that's a good belt accessory, especially, you know, I think I'd like to be a guy who has a coin dispenser on the belt loop. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just feel like it's cool. Just like a, you know what I'm talking about, mm-hmm. the spring loaded action. Coin dispenser. Yeah, they used to have those that like, like when people would have like drive up carts for like food or like a food vendor or something that have it for change. Or, or like, oh, yeah. or if it's like ice cold beer here, the yep. beer vendor yep. guy would have it. I think old casinos used to do that. Mm-hmm. Those are just, I don't know. I, I don't have no practical use for it. I just think it'd be cool to have one. <laughs> About it. You got any other questions, Jaren? I got a fun fact. Okay. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Welcome to the fun fact of the day. Jared, take it away. The average person walks the equivalent of three times around the world in a lifetime. Over the course of an average lifetime, a person will walk approximately 110,000 miles which is equivalent to walking around the world about three times. Wow. That's well, fun. How does that sound? I don't know how. I, don't I will know if walk 500 miles. Yeah. Way more than that. Oh, yeah. 110,000 miles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to think the majority of that is done. Probably like what, fifteen to seventy. Now I would, I can't walk on water. So, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I know you're all thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I get it a lot, uh, especially from my wife. But it, for some reason, it doesn't sound so positive when she says it. It's like, well, oh, you, oh, you can walk on water, you know. Well, you walk on water in the bathroom after you shower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. That's what I thought you were going with it. Um, so I would like that stat in if you were to because follow the route. Well, no, it's like you're you're gonna go down, which mm-hmm. cut you know it's less, it's more miles than you know going up and down, going over mountains and stuff. So I think it's probably not quite three times around the earth. I mean, is it possible to walk around the earth? Like if you went pole to pole, is there a way to get over? The Bering Strait, maybe. Yeah. You'd have to go up by Alaska and wait for winter. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to wait for the ice road truckers, the yep. ice, road, ice road to get going. Yep. 
I don't know. There's That's no, a good question. There's yeah. definitely no land bridge anymore. Well, like our parents had to like four times around the world because when they'd walk to school, <laughs> 10 miles uphill <laughs> and then 10 miles back uphill. Yeah, the I don't number, know how that works, but yeah. four times around. From our parents' generation, our numbers cut in half. They were going way further than us. For sure. Well, think, yeah, Louis, think of Lewis and Clark. They probably walked around the world six times. <laughs> <laughs> just because they did one extra 3,000 mile trek or something. Probably not even that much. They were in canoes 90% of the time. Like that, I want you to think about it, what percentage. Oh, I did think about it, yeah. <laughs> just even if they walked an extra 3,000 miles more than another person, that's a very small percentage. Well, they, they, they didn't just, they didn't stop walking after the expedition. They, I mean, they, I think they, I know, but everyone else is also walking. (laughs) I'll be honest. They didn't walk that much either. They were on rivers most of the time. And horseback probably. I don't know. Wagons. How many miles is it around the world? Did that, the the fun fact say 110 divided by three. Mm -hmm. Uh, So 40 ish. 40,000. Yeah. Okay. All I know is the, the person add up there. All but. I know is that the person who loves walking more than the person who loves the destination will walk further. So I would say that if you love Lose walking, you're probably in higher than yeah. the average. You gotta really love walking to walk around the earth too. You know what, Jared, that fun fact didn't really do it for me. Oh really? Yeah. Can we get another one? Well, maybe one more. No, I could find one. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. No, yeah. it's fine. You just it's hey, fine. just be better for next week. <laughs> I'd like it to be a little more fun. That one was kind of bland. Okay. And that's fine, you know. It's I'm not putting it on the chopping block yet. Fun <laughs> fact can stay. This is a strike. <laughs> but yeah, I am keeping score and that knocked you down a few. That just kind of slowly drifted towards more of the fact segment. Yeah, my response was Oh yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> I want it to be fun. Was it fascinating? No, <sighs> I would say it's, it's just it, it was just a whelming fact. Okay, so today we did whelming fact. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat that all. Let's see, we want it to be more fun. Okay, <laughs> maybe something to do with carnivals or I can do a carnival fun fact. <laughs> Well, the, I just I came up with that idea. I want this to be <laughs> your own funny. thing. Yeah, do circuses. I just started naming all the fun stuff, so you can't do any of them. <laughs> whales, fuck yeah! Would you, you might say have... whales for fun stuff? Yeah, whales are kind of fun. <laughs> Carnivals are also fun. You can do like like how many like how many drugs are pushed through the carny community every single year? <laughs> that that would, that's, that's, I mean, that's actually good. I would like to know because they're all on them. <laughs> Also, I feel like carnies are big trench coat guys. For sure. <laughs> and top hat guys, too. Yeah. Fedoras. <laughs> I mean, there's pro- they're probably... St- think how easy you could stuff drugs into those stuffed animals. That's probably why they never want to give you one. Yeah. Sure. There's <laughs> fucking James is coming by at 7 p.m. to get his... He's just going to win the game and he'll get his ounce of weed out of there. That's ounce. You know? It's a big ass prize. It was a cabbage patch doll. Like a, yeah. Like a giant fucking teddy bear has yeah. one ounce of weed in it. Yeah, like a medium Pikachu is like ounce and a half. You got a deal because he went ounce and a half, not ounce. Uh it's acceptable to wear a trench coat if you're the ringmaster of a circus. That is true. Oh yeah. You gotta be German though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what fucking Google said. <laughs> Not me. It's a loof walk the surface. Well, is that it, Jared? Uh-huh. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio. May your trench coats be <laughs> in, the in the closet, not being used because we don't use them anymore. <laughs> and may your bath towels be hung up. Cheers, Ryan. May your bath towels be hung. <laughs> Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.